<clears throat> Morning, mate. How are you? How are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad, we'll get going so we don't wake all the neighbours up. Well? Into it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do, do you want us to um, take our cars or? Oh, um. A bit breezy. Wait, so we're, are you picking, so you've got a couple of people turning Yeah, they're up. meeting us at Tangy, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, bro? Yeah. G'day, mate, how are you? How's it going, Steve? Billy, nice to meet you, Dean. I'm making famous. Early morning, uh, just got down here to the river, uh, just here with Mike and his competition winner Dean. Uh, so we've got the white bait out. So yeah, we're gonna have a crack, eh? Give it a crack, we'll get down there. Mike reckons this little spot down here should be good, so uh, get the truck down there, get the net set up, get the screen set up, and then into it. Into it. Yeah, I don't even know what time we can start. I think it's six. <laughs> <laughs> Big old net. This is what's going to catch us some white bait today. Um, so the plan is um, just straight out here, set the set the net, and then um, Mike's going to lay a screen as well. So just getting you all the gear prepped, um, get it out there, and then uh, yeah, we'll be cooking up a bit of bricky. She's a fairly early start. We're up at four this morning, so. Um, so no time for bricky, so we'll uh, have that once we get everything set up, which will be good. I'm on my big net. Not good for the wind. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that what these are for, Mike? Wait, wait, wait them down? Yeah, it's going to hold the back of the net. Yeah. Here comes someone on the other side. Thought I could hear a bike, eh? <clears throat> Chances are this um, net's not going to float. Not deep enough. <clears throat> Come on, Mike. I'd be concerned if it was real deep, you know, because then we want this on it properly. But chances are this net's not going to float. Right. It won't get deep enough to float. Yeah, yeah. So it's a pity because then you're not going to see it actually working as, as it does. So we just cut that. Then we'll put it up. So, um, Big Ross, the big man over there, has just turned up, beautiful timing for Bricky, and he's, um, he's actually a butcher, and um, he's brought some home cured bacon for us to, to try, so we're going to cook that up. Uh, we've got some venison sausages, venison steak, and some eggs. That's your dirt, eh? What do you reckon, Mike? <laughs> so, all of a sudden there was, um, there, was only, there was only five of us and now there's about 10 so we've got, uh, we've got a bit of a crew to feed so but we've got enough food here. Uh. Duck shooting whenever you bring out bacon, yep. ducks come in so what I'm thinking is we bring the bacon out, white bait is just going to come swishing into our net. So. Sort of 
sort of halfway from the mouth at Tangi Moana, the Rangitiki, and up the river where we are. So, and across the river they call it the cut on the Scots Ferry side. So there's this is where the huts are. These are the serious white baiters. We're gonna go and see. They might be a bit cagey, but we've got Russ here, and so uh, we'll be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> sort him out, eh, Russ? Yeah, yeah. throw them in the river. Yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. no Yeah. I'm just going to pull his net in here and have a bit of a check. Ross, this is the Howard Morrison of Tangi Oh, watch out. Oh, sorry, mate. Look at this little pole. Three and a half. Beautiful. Melting amongst them, but only, the net was only in a couple of minutes. Across the way. Yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd sort of do mine. When we've got no, no curl, that's really 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes, yeah. Take it on pot luck. Yeah. Perfect. Good setup. See, the net just swings back around and yeah, it's yeah. perfectly in place again. How long have you been baiting here for, Ross? 16 years. Yeah. One spot? Oh, Just this one spot? No, no, uh, normally in the hut back there, oh, but yeah. um, Justin's son wanted to do a white bait, so I've moved down here and oh, so. that one. Cool. Nearly classed as a local, nearly. Yeah. Nearly? Yeah. For 16 years, nearly classed. Oh no, I was brought on the other side of the river. Yeah. <laughs> There's all our land over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver bellies, we get rid of. But you can see these ones here, white back. Now we're just going to filter through what we want to keep. So, yeah, we're just going to start checking it sort of every 15 minutes um, and then setting it out. And hopefully, within the next hour or so, while this tide's turning, we might um, have enough for a feed, which will be, which will be awesome. Might be able to even whip up a, a fritter at Mike's when we get home. No worries. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we were here first thing this morning. There was no sign of anyone, uh, which was a little bit surprising. Um, and now, if you look down the river bank on both sides. There's just white bait nets and people as far as the eye can see, so um, so yeah, glad we got here early, Mike. <coughs> We're just starting to get a few now. <coughs> so that's one scoop there. Yeah, so we're just getting a few, so hopefully we'll get a bit more. A few pounds? Hopefully. Yeah. A few pounds. All going well. Yeah. But that's white buddy, you know, some days you get it, some days you don't. Yeah, that's right. Beautiful. 
Cool. So yeah, we're just uh, pulling up net. Uh, last haul, got enough for a feed, so um, Dean's got to head home, back to Rotorua. Mike's got a bit of bait to, uh, to get sorted for the week, and um, yeah, we're going to head home and use that uh, white bait that we've got to uh, cook up a few recipes. So it's been an awesome day out on the river. Cheers, Mike.